Whoa, look at that giant pee. What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new vlog. So today we have something very exciting that I'm doing. I've been wanting to do this since the last time I came down here, just didn't really have the time to do it. Um, so we're doing it today. We are at the Space Kennedy Center and uh, we're gonna be checking out some spaceships and some giant, you know, <laughs> things that we often see on walls, I guess, in abandoned places. Um, obviously that's just a joke, but uh, yeah, I am approaching the front gate. Oh man, these trucks are parked so close together. So yeah, put a like on this video and uh, let's get the adventure started. Okay, so I purchased tickets online. Um, I'm guessing we redeemed them here? I don't really know, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> Let me check with these guys. All right guys, we have made it in to the Kennedy Space Center. It was a little confusing getting the tickets because I ordered mine off Expedia, but this is pretty cool. They're saying there's like a bus tour thing, like takes like two hours. To be honest, I probably should have given myself more time when coming here. I came as quick as I could, but uh, yeah, let's check these out. These are awesome. With the newfound power and guidance combination of Atlas Agena, Agen, Agena system, I can't speak today. Whoa, these are so cool. Let's check out those things. So many of them. So apparently they have the uh, Atlantis shuttle here as well, which is really cool. So she was telling me that to go to like a spot where there's buses and they take you somewhere and it sounds cool. She said don't spend too much time there, but uh, Wow, look at this thing. This is awesome. So apparently this is where we're supposed to go. I can see the uh, sign for bus tours down there. And apparently they take you to somewhere. I don't know where exactly, but we're going somewhere. This is not a mock -up. These are the very consoles we sat at when men first took off to fly to the moon. The tragedy of Apollo 1 had put us a year and a half behind. We were making up for it in one big leap, and we were doing it with a rocket that no man had ever flown before. It was a few days before Christmas, 1968, when Apollo 8 sat on the pad. Long ride out to the way of space ground. The minimum safe distance from a Saturn V and lift off was three miles. The reason was simple. When fully fueled, the rocket contained the explosive power of an atomic bomb. You are now in the final minutes before the launch of Apollo 8. Right here, we are actually happy. Wow. <laughs> Mankind is about to leave his planet behind on a journey to another. It is one of those rare moments when history is not being made, destiny is being embraced.
Jeez. Puts into reality how big this freaking thing was. My god. Wow. That's intense. Wow. That's crazy. Look at that. Apollo 17 Commander Gene Sermon driving the lunar rover during the last mission to the moon. That was so cool. Alan Shepard pulls the mobile equipment transporter at Kennedy Space Center. <laughs> oh, they have a spacesuit over there too. That's awesome. Oh, look at that. Yay. This is what uh, one of the cockpits looked like. A little rendition here of the moon landing. Look at how long this is. This goes all the way to the other end of the building. That's cool. So this is what's known as the Astro Van. This is what carried all the astronauts to the uh, actual shuttle. Cool. Oh, look at this thing. What? Oh, you can go in there? How do I, how do, I do that? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the uh, Apollo 1 tribute. I don't know what goes on in here. Oh, it's a little walkthrough sort of thing. <laughs> Alright, finally found the entrance to here. Oh, this is so cool. Look at that. There's like a whole exhibit in here, spacesuits everywhere. There's too many people though, unfortunately, to record this properly. But this thing is cool. Look at that. Jeez, that thing is huge. Look at that. So we're going inside the Atlantis building thing. Should be pretty dope. So far, so good. We're about to go inside of the Atlantis building here. Uh, they took us to the vehicle assembly building. Uh, which is basically this massive building that you could fit like four Empire State buildings inside of. It's got the world's biggest doors on them, literally, I'm not even joking, it actually is the world's biggest doors. That's where they build all the, the rockets and stuff inside, which is really cool. We kind of got to see the launch pad, not that great, uh, but apparently there is a launch coming up, I think, in a couple of days, so we might be able to see that, hopefully. Um, but they did also bring us to this other, the, the thing that we saw was the uh, the actual launch control room was legit the actual launch control room I believe from Apollo 1 they said which is really cool as well this place is awesome so far um, it's a very educational experience so if you guys are ever here definitely come and check it out um, but yeah we're gonna go inside the building and see the rest It was literally the most dramatic thing I've ever seen to introduce a space shuttle, but here it is. This is the Atlantis. It's cool. There's literally tons of stuff everywhere. Tons of little exhibits. Oh yeah. I got another one of those uh, little uh, shuttle vans. So that was the uh, original prototype. So if you notice one thing, Canada was part of this mission. <laughs> Shout out to the Canada arm. You know, I mean, it is quite large, but you would imagine it to be bigger. But it's really not as big as you would imagine, really. I don't even know what I'm trying to say right now, but it's still pretty cool. Damn, look at how big those are. Oh my god. You can literally sleep in there. <laughs> That's insane. Now that's crazy. This is called, I don't even know what it's called, Hidden Power? <laughs> it's called the Power Head. This thing had to withstand 500,000 pounds of thrust without tearing apart. That is insane. Whoa! Holy! Can you imagine just a huge flame shooting right out of here? Look at that echo. Echo! Echo! <laughs> 
That's funny. I'm literally so stupid. I come to museums and I entertain myself with echoes. Shout out to uh, Canada. See you in a month probably. <laughs> so this is cool. There's a like a model of a cockpit in here. Let's check this out. Whoa! Oh, look at this. This is awesome. Oh, imagine this. So many switches. <laughs> wow. This is dope. Feels like I'm actually sitting in a spaceship. <laughs> You ready to take a picture? I'm good. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah, thank you. This area is absolutely blinding. My eyes. We're at the uh, bottom or underneath the shuttle now. Now you could actually get an idea of how big the thing is. Well, so I'm guessing this is how the uh, astronauts sleep. Yeah. <laughs> And this is how the astronauts eat. Yes. These are actually open? Nope. They're closed. And of course, every astronaut has to go. Huh. That's an interesting toilet. So without gravity, does like the poop not fly out? <laughs> does that not happen? Got a uh, bunch of shuttles here. Um, this one I remember, there was actually a documentary movie series on Netflix about this one. This one actually um, was lost during a launch. It actually blew up in 1986, which was uh, pretty unfortunate. I remember it was a pretty famous video of it. There's a lot of firsts for that. First spacewalk, first crew to include a woman. First African American fly in space, first untethered spacewalk, and the first orbiter to land at Kennedy Space Center for after a mission. Oh my, I think these are the actual parts from the Challenger. Wow. So this side is from the Columbia. That was 2003, I remember that one. So I'm headed over to this building. I don't know what it is exactly. It says something about a memorial something. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I think it might just be for uh, memorializing the fallen astronauts. There was one inside of the Atlantis building as well, which was nice to see. Um, it was interesting how they had the remains of the old spaceships and a lot of the stuff from the astronauts as well. Yeah, and then we have uh, an old fighter jet that they used to use for training purposes as well. This is a T-38, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, let's head over to this memorial thing and check it out before the park closes. Because apparently the park is going to close very, very shortly. So here we have all the uh, fallen astronauts. See so if you've ever seen the uh, documentary I was talking about. This was her. She was formerly a teacher and she was on the Challenger and unfortunately lost her life along with several other people who are here as well. This is cool. The new rovers. The future missions to Mars. So this is the uh, future Mars rover over here. Somebody was pointing out that they think it's not going to look the same so we'll see in a few years if it's going to look like this or not. Still looks interesting though. There was one thing I kind of forgot to do, and the park is closing soon. We're next to the uh, rocket garden again. This is the Astronaut Hall of Fame. I don't know if it's still open, hopefully it is. But uh, I think it would be pretty cool to check out before I leave. Here we got another uh, mission control for Mercury. Wow, uh, look at that, that's cool. I don't know if this is real or not, but it could just be a replica. But apparently the other one was real that we saw much earlier, which is pretty cool. So apparently this was real. 
according to this, that these very consoles would mean that it was real. This is cool, this is the uh, Gemini 9A capsule right here. Oh man, look at that thing. That thing is cramped. Oof. Wow. So apparently they had some issues with this, the heat shield or something separated. I don't really know too much, but they had some complications coming back to Earth in this one. Wow. That is cool to see though. Oh wow. <laughs> so cool. Alright guys, well that is pretty much it for the uh, Kennedy Space Center. I am on my way out now, heading back to the car. I'm actually really thirsty and uh, quite hungry at the moment, so I'm going to try and find something to eat. I'll probably head straight back to Melbourne. Tomorrow apparently we're going to be going to Miami, most likely. I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. Still got to talk to Steve about it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, well that was one interesting day. Um, I ended up just going to grab something at a place called Smoky Bones. They actually have really good brisket and it's not very expensive. Relatively healthy. I don't know what this guy's doing, but okay. Um, anyways, so yeah, I had a lot of fun at the Kennedy Space Center like I said before. If you ever have a chance to go, I highly recommend it. It's, uh, it's awesome. There's so much to see. Um, honestly, I wish I had a little bit more time so that way I could take my time, see a lot more of the exhibits. Uh, I wanted to do, there was a, a bunch of stuff that was like training stuff for astronauts so you can get like the full experience of basically what it would be like to be an astronaut. Um, but yeah, I didn't, unfortunately I didn't get a chance to do that, but uh, honestly seeing the shuttles, learning a lot of new information, um, like some of the stuff I had learned about before just by watching documentaries. I'm um, doing some research and also talking to, talking to other people about stuff like this. Space exploration is uh, very fascinating and I love learning new stuff about it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end off this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Tomorrow we are heading down to Miami. So uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye.